Hello and welcome to Insights from an Autistic. It is really great to see all of you here today and I wish all of you a most awesomely extraordinary awesome day of awesomeness. For those who have met me for the first time on my YouTube channel, my name is Armand. I'm 26 years old and on the autism spectrum. I also have a blog that uh, goes a little bit more in depth or talks about you know different aspects of autism. You can visit that blog on empowerautismnow.com and on with today's episode severe autism what is severe autism why do some why are some children born very impacted by autism why are some people not as impacted by autism you know what what's going on so so severe autism um, sometimes the IQ is impacted. Sometimes, you know, there's, when someone has severe autism, there's sometimes other things besides autism going on. You know, they might have, uh, like, uh, mental retardation. I don't know what the new term is for it because I know people don't like using the word retarded or whatever. Um, but I'm trying to use it in whatever sense it was previously established. Anyway, so, um, but, you know, they can also, someone who is severely impacted by autism could be very smart. So, with a severe autism, um, they're gonna have the common traits, and you know, there'll be stimulating behaviors like a social, you know, identification, you know, socializing, understanding, understanding other people, communicating with people. Now, I'm not an expert on, on severe autism because I don't have severe autism, but I know about autism, and I, and I see in severe autism, you know, it's just, um, you know, it, it's autism, but it's magnified, you know, a hundredfold. Um, sometimes. You know, they might have one savant tra trait. There are people with severe autism who have a super savant trait where they can just create amazing artworks or have an incredible memory about something, and yet at the same time, they're in diapers. They, they can't take care of themselves. Not, not everyone with severe autism is in diapers, by the way. Um, sometimes they eat their clothes. Their tantrums are more intense. The tantrums last longer. Um, you, know, they're, they, they, you know, as an adult, they can still be a child with the behaviors of a seven year old, and yet, be super intelligent one area. Sometimes, though, the, that intelligence is completely lacking. Sometimes the intelligence is somewhere in the middle, you know, like an average intelligence level. Um, so, so why why is why are some people severely impacted by autism and not severely impacted by autism? The answer is I have no clue why some people, you know, they have the autistic traits, but um, it won't impact them as much. Um, I really don't know why that is. Some, some people feel that severe autism is true autism. Um, and when autism was first defined, you know, that that was, um, you know, through the ages, the, the di diagnosis and criteria for autism has changed. It's changing yet again. Um, you know, some people say Asperger's is not autism. Some people say high function autism, which is like Asperger's, not autism. And, you know, some people feel, you know, because either the intelligence is higher, that someone's able to communicate better. Um, you know, so, so people have d different beliefs as to what is exactly autism. And so I know some parents get up in arms, um, you know, about when I talk about my life story. You know, because their child's so impacted by autism, you know, they get really upset because, um, because you know they 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 have seen autism from their perspective only. You know they haven't seen um, people who are more higher. You know who are aren't as impacted um, by autism. You know most people though I would say are right in the middle. You know they're not severely impacted. They're not. Um, you know it's like right in the middle there. Um, average IQ for the most part. I mean sometimes though you'll get a super savant who is. Um, you know, I hate to use this term, but high function, or everyone want to use it as. Um, and so there you go. And so with the DSM-5, I know some parents are very happy about it. Some are not happy about it. Uh, because, again, the autism definition is being changed. Um, a lot of people who would have an autism or Asperger's diagnosis will not have a social communication disorder diagnosis. Kind of a intrigue-fine diagnosis, if you ask me. But 
how does one have social communication disorder if they still have the hand flapping going on, um, the obsessions? That's not just social communication going on there. That's not a communication and socializing problem. That's other things going on there. You know, the intense anxiety. Um, you just can't say it's social communication disorder when you have all these other aspects. Anyway, that is not about severe autism. So, um, the same with severe autism, you know, they might have one trait and not have another. Um, you know, they might not stem sometimes, but you know, they'll have all the other uh, characteristics uh, associated with autism. You know, it's a very wide spectrum. And, uh, what to do, you know, if your child has an autism diagnosis, you know, early on, it's very good to get early intervention because that will help a lot. And what what is out there, you know, for someone who's very severely impacted by autism, sometimes, you know, there, there's a possibility that they might be able to work in a sheltered workshop. Um, there's environments, you know, that they can move into. Um, you definitely want to research those because you don't want them to be in a bad environment, but there's, you know, good environments. Um, you know, very positive environments that, that they just absolutely love being at. Um, so there's a lot of possibilities there. And does someone who has severe autism, do they experience um, the world the same way that, say, someone who's more mildly impacted by autism? Like, I, I don't know. I do know, though, that the student behaviors, you know, sometimes it's used, like, as a calming mechanism or as a means of you know, being very excited about things. Um, but, you know, the tantrums are just so intense sometimes. I, I, I have witnessed and you know, watched. And those tantrums are just really, really intense. Anyway, I just want to address severe autism, so um, that's really all I have to say for today on that matter. I thank you for watching, and you have an awesome day of awesomeness. Thank you.